the Grade 1 Ascot Chase is next up then. This is a two mile five furlong event. Uh, there's a pretty decent looking field for it. Let's get a look at the full list right at the top then. We've got a newcomer for John Morgan in Holy Joe, Houston Assassin, Vinnie Gerard, Jobo, Granite, Craig Allen, Lake San Quiet, and Luxor for Darren Thompson. Mayday, Mayday, Craig Allen, San Reno, Stu Gray, the Overlord, Joshua Sutherland, Artistic Rose, David Hooley, Helter Skelter, Leon Van Rensburg, Ozark Clear, Vinnie Gerard, Penny Bray, Craig Beckwith, Popular View, David Hooley, Quality Queen, and another newcomer for Stu Gray, Shambury Brady, David Robertson, Vintage Trader, Leon Van Rensburg, and Vision for Joshua Sutherland, so called in and away then in the Ascot chase. They're making their way towards the first of the fences they've got to take, and 16 of them in all. And Penny Bray has gone into a three length lead. I've been chased hard by the John Morgan newcomer Gray Holy Joe, with Artistic Row settled in third. Well, they're going Really decent sort of pace, they can take around this turn and they make their way towards the first of the 16 fences, quite a decent run to the first which they're now upon, and over it they all go and they're safely over that one with Luxor, just the last one to land out the back, so it's only a short run to the second, oh he's gone, Holy Joe's gone, so the newcomer has gone there for John Morgan, so that one's out, they get to the ditch, and over that one they all go safely with Penny Bray, five lengths clear, or Vintage Trader second as they get to the fourth, all over that one nicely with the other newcomer quality queen and they had a back marker so Penny Bray it is then who's taking them along leads by about four lengths to Helter Skelter in second then Shambri Brady is now moved into third with Vintage Trader and the Overlord as they get to the fifth which they're all safely over it looks all on quality coin still at the back. So they race up the Ascot straight, then now then past the big stands. They'll take the fences that'll be the final ones the next time round. And Penny Bray will lead into them, leading by about four. Oh, one right through the top of it. And that's allowed Helter Skelter to get considerably closer in second. The Overlord is third. And Vintage Trader and Ozark clear as they come up to past the winning post with a circuit to go and Penny Bray leads by about two lengths Helter Skelter is second, Stable Mate Vintage Trader is third then Mayday Mayday is four and Ozark Clear and the Overlord and Lake San Quire just dropping back a bit then comes Houston Assassin and Oz Ozark Clears after that one and Quality Queen is just about the back marker so they're taking that turn then net and heading out onto the back straight and Penny Bray leads one or two of these caught quite wide on the track. It's not going to do their chances a great deal of good. As they get to the seventh, which they're all over the one that really is struggling on his Lake San Cry. That one was up there in the lead and has now dropped right out. Well, not in the lead, but near the lead. And has now dropped right out of the back. I don't know if there's something to miss with that one as they get to fence number eight, which they're all safely over again. Penny Bray continuing to show the way. The main challengers are wide on the track, and then Vintage Trader, Houston Assassin, and Shanbury Brady, the Joshua Sutherland Perrick. Oh, there's a four of them, and the Leon Van Rensburg always has gone. Vintage Trader has gone, took a dive at that ditch, and didn't survive it, and is now out of the race. So we've lost two as we get to the next time. We've lost another one there as well, and it's San Vino that's gone this time. So one of Stu Gray's departs. And three fallers so far. They were inside the final mile of the Ascot chase, and Penny Bray continues to show the way in the lead. From Ozark Clear is now cut across to the fence in second. Then Shambri Brady in popular view. Then comes the Overlord. Lake San Quire is now run on again on the outside. And also Mayday, Mayday. Joe Berg Granite trying to get through as well. Ozark Clear. Houston Assassin has come through from nowhere now to come through to challenge for the lead as they take number 11. And over number 11 they go. And Ozark and Penny Bray and Houston Assassin are disputing the lead as they get over that one from the Overlord in third. Popular view on the inside is fourth. Then Luxor trying to get into it. Lake San Quarry is there as well as they get over that ditch. And it's wide open this one. With Houston Assassin landing in the lead over the third last. They've got just two more to take then. Penny Bray on the inside. Houston Assassin on the outside. Lake San Quarry wide running a really strange race. Popular view now coming through the challenge and Popular view is going to hit the lead as they turn for home. It's Popular view who's taking it up then from Lake San Quarry in second. Then comes Penny Bray in third. After that one is the Overlord. Then Houston Assassin. Joe Bird Granite starting to run on. Then Vision trying to get into it as well. They've still got two to take. That's the second last great jump by Popular 
popular view who's now gone a length clear. Lake Sanquan is trying to close them in second. Here comes Joe Berg Granite. The Overlord's also running on as well. They've still got one more to take and they come down towards it now. And it's popular view in the lead by about four. Popular view, four lengths clear. Pops over it but doesn't jump it very well at all. And the Overlord jumps it better and the Overlord sweeps into the lead. The Overlord on the outside from popular view. And the Overlord into the final half furlong. And the Overlord is now too clear, and the Overlord is going to win this one. It's going to be the Overlord that takes it from Popular View in second, close for third between the two Grey Allen horses. And Quality Queen was the last to finish. And the Overlord takes it for Joshua Sullivan. Popular View, David Hooley second, Mayday Mayday third for Craig Allen. Joburg Granite fourth for Craig Allen as well, and Ozark clear for Vinnie Gerard was fifth.